Okay, 2009 CRF450R, setting our timing. Okay, we've come in, we've got, there you go, the triangle on the case. It's pointed right there at the timing mark. Come around, we are at TDC. And we come back around over here, we have on, yeah, on the primary gear, the counterbalance, everything is all lined up. Next up, hold on a second. Okay, fast forward a couple of minutes. All right, if we look in here, you can see the, oops, come on, focus. Yep, so the witness marks are lined up with the cam bridge, All right? We look up here, oops. And the lobes are pointed back at about the two o'clock. Puts the counterbalancer here. So, all right. Okay, so that was a little bit odd. What is... Let's see if you can zoom in right about where that paint mark is, Lex. Let me show that it's... And this is on the way down to bottom dead center. We're not there yet, right? <laughs> and I cannot get a full revolution. Let's see. And once we get down to coming back up the top that center <clears throat> up and yep, just before the valves clear <clears throat> yeah that's it just before the valves just before the cams clear okay. so the intakes are pushed all the way down right now okay that's it Okay, so I was checking the buckets just to make sure the valves move freely. So check this out. I can press this guy pretty easy by hand. All right, no problem. This side, ugh, significantly more force required. Like I can do this one one-handed. And then this guy, yeah, yeah, it definitely requires two hands. <laughs> Okay, let's check the exhaust, shall we? Bring it over here, Lex. Yeah. Knock one of the shims out. Okay, so how hard is this? And this one's easier. It's like the opposite. The right side is harder. The left side is significantly easier. Okay, stop it.